Hi, my name is Joseph Harlock for AOS Learn Topic. This is my second intent to make a video in English. Normally, our channel only makes content in Spanish, but in the first video, we make someone make a, a really nice comment to make my day really happy. Uh, we just thanks for make me realize someone maybe want this content because of you. I want to begin my series of video about processing an Arduino. If you know Arduino is a really nice hardware platform, you make really interesting robots, electronic and all this thing of stuff. But you want maybe uh, to create an interface with your program. This time I want to show you the first video on my series of processing an Arduino. We're going to make this Arduino Uno blink the LED. You maybe you know you come with a LED in in the pin 30, and we win, we want to try to control this LED with a button in our computer. First of all, we're going to make the code in Arduino, and then we're going to make the code in processing. At first, we're going to begin to create the pin of the LED. We're going to put pin left and 30 then we're going to initial initialize the the pin this in this occasion we want to control somewhat external we're going to pun pin mode and the name in this case pin left and the state output Output. Oh, I I forget. Output. Okay. And we want to communicate the Arduino with the PC. With that, what? With the cable. We we going to use the cable with the communication serial. The communication serial is the a protocol we can send and receive information for Arduino to the PC and the PC to the Arduino. We going to put serial. Punto begin. And the SP we want to work. In this case, we're going to use the more normal SP nine six oh oh. We have two functions you can see setup is for the beginners stuff. We want to we want to say only one time. A loop is a bucle we make in the first, the second line. And when we go into the last line, we return to the first line. Ah, we need a uh, other variable. In this case, boolean. For uh, a, a value, you only have true or false. It's that this is going to be the status of the LED. And the first time when the LED will false, then if serial is available, that means have information to we can read or study. I forget the L variable. You see, we have information in the serial. We're going to change the state of the LED. We're going to deny the the state with the state. In this case, if the state is true, we're going to make the LED on. If the state is false, we may going to make the LED. Shut down if stay. We're going to what we say digital Rita pin led one. What mean it's going to be on and else that means it's stay no, it's not is true. Digital read pin led is zero. That means is the led will mean off. I'm going to upload the code in my Arduino. I have to see on first and, and tools in your computer boards and I select the Arduino I have. In this case, I have Arduino Uno and the port I am using right now. I am using right now Linux because this is the name of my port 
and your window maybe we say con one con four or maybe di different and your map we say something like mine right now we select that and we're going to upload the code in the second bottom is this one i upload the code right now the code is yeah, right now uploaded we go maybe you you can see i'm going to open the serial port over here yeah i'm going to send a character k okay i make a little little mistake in my code i never take out information of the serial right now i'm going to uh, char and data is serial read that means we're going to extract or take out information on the serial port and we may then we're going to make the all the code we have right now uh this i have make for the okay i'm going to upload the code right now and try i think i'm going to work this time okay i open the serial port Okay, send a letter. Other time. Other time. And you can see the tiny, 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 tiny letter is on, from my finger. Is turn on, and turn off. Okay. The idea is we make we get information of the serial port. Each time we get any data, we change the state of the letter. Right now, it's only we're going to make in Arduino. Now, we're going to begin the source code in processing. Processing is ID, a really good idea for making interacting thing in, in our computer. The idea is you draw uh, image, circles, lines, color, and you make a really nice program. We are going to open an uh, example with come with processing in this serial port we going to use it for take our idea remember this is my second time making a video in english i know it's really bad but maybe you have an idea i can make for other videos we have a lot of videos on our channel um facebook with arduino i hope how can make a sensor for the, your heart and many stuff you maybe won't like in English, we make we will try to do it. Please comment in this comment in, in the town for you can give us the idea. First, we have to make the import of the library import processing seria. Then we have to create a object for our serial communication serial and the name i going i going to put my serial okay then in the setup we have to initialize our serial this is something we make some problem in different operating system you really need really need the name of the serial port you have in your computer connected with your Arduino. In this case, my serial equal new serial. This and the name of the serial port I write reducing in this in a moment. I going to go to my Arduino either and find and tools. Uh, ports and the name in my case is Dell TTG ACMO and you maybe we're going to see con 4 con 5 you maybe have to look it and you're doing not either for the name you are using it right now and the next information you have to give to Arduino is the name no it's the velocity you can use right now in is this one and with this we have the initialization of the serial port 
we're going to test this code. Oh, no, we have to make something else first. We have to put this, the size of the canvas we're going to use it in our draw. We're going to put the size in mm, 40 by 60. I guess that is what I use normally for this example. Let me run the code. We have um, a problem. I guess the name of the seller port is not that correct because, right? Ah, it's AC, no MC. C? CM. Okay, this is what I can run other game other time. This is okay. Not give me any error because I can continue with my code. The idea is we're going to make a button. That button, when we press, we're going to change the state of the LED. We need the color or the black round of the state um, we're going to use. Um, I'm going to use the, the button of the mouse. We are processing how function we can use with the, the mouse and other stuff. I go to help reference and give me a web page locally where I can see all the function I need to make this example work. Please forgive me for my computer have some issues with recording. I maybe would try to make this more comfortable in the next videos if I can. Mouse clip is what I going to use. I going to show you how to use it. And the file uh, and at the final on the code you put void. The name is mouse clip. It's a mouse clip. My serial punto write and we're going to write a letter. In, in, uh, the same as we going to work with the Arduino, remember? We put a letter and there change the state of the letter, right? Oh, okay. This is that way. Okay, but I want to see something in my draw, right? Because if only I execute this, I, I don't have anything to see at all. I'm going to put a black row. Block. I'm going to put a, co a color because zero, no, uh, two seventy fifty, zero and zero. Zero. Okay. Right now I'm going to try the code. I run right now. It's red on red. I I put the Arduino. Yes, each I clip. In any place on the screen, the LED is turned on. If I click on any place, the LED is turned off. What I do each time I clip, I send a letter, right? And I pin the black round in red. But it's not really nice this application we make right now. I'm going to improve a little bit. I make a other variable a name. State. It will make false. False at the beginning. If is a state is false, is true. We're going to make the background in a different color. If it is true, we make an uh, other color. Back. I make a streaming in, in Spanish if you want. Maybe I can do a uh, song streaming of I developing something in real time. If you like that that idea, please comment in the in the comment on YouTube, please. I'm going to run this and. I not change the, the state of the state. State equal. 
we going to deny the state. Each time we clip, we going to deny the state. Uh, if the state is true, we're going to use this this, this color. If the, if the state is false, we're going to use this color. We're going to try this other time. Ah, then red, blue, red, green, red, really. But uh, it's, it's okay, it's, it's, it's improved. But I want a button. I really want a button because it's more nice a button, right? But, okay, I'm going to go to help reference again and find how can I draw a bottom or a circle in this case this is the function ellipser ellipser asks us for a position in x and j and the white and the height of the bottom or the circle rather the bottom here and we we know the our canvas is 40 for 60 because of that I going to put the circle in 2000 and 2000 and for the um, white I going to put 300 I going to 200 300 I going to play this okay we have a cycle but not change the color right we press in the, the the click anywhere we want and the color is the same we want to the color change what our click okay we going to put fill with what we want to change the color zero 100 100 and with is full uh, other color zero um, zero zero we're going to upload the color no run the color okay it's black it's blue it's black it's blue but if we click on the bottom it's working but if we click outside the bottom is working too uh, i don't like that we have to only work we are in the bottom how we can know what we click on the bottom we have the information about the mouse we have the position of x and y in the mouse if we have how big is the cycle okay we're going to use that in our favorite we going to use in the for distance is this the mouse x in mouse j to 2000 and 2000 remember that is the center of our cycle right if we remember the cycle you have a radius the radius is the half of the diameter. We're going to put. I will, I'm going to change it to float. See, this is less the the rad radius in this case 115. Please change and send the information to the Arduino. I'm going to try this code below the the circle is not working right now but if i click on the circle it's working you can see it in the left in the arduino 2. why i do it right now i'm going to make right now a really short why make it in this video first one now in arduino we make a state and in the state it's true we're going to to put the lid in on. If it's false, we're going to put the lid in off. If we get some information, the serial port, that means the cable, we're going to change the state in our processing. We're going to change the black round and the color of the bottom of the information of state. If state is true, we're going to use one color. If state is false, we're going to use other color. If we clip and inside the bottom we can know it inside the bottom because distance eh, of the center of the bottom of the diameter of the bottom we're going to change the data and send a data for the Arduino and change the state and that is our first video if you really like this video please share with your friend there are likes 
and comment in YouTube. Maybe you want to subscribe. We're going to try to make more videos if more people want it. If you really want to make the second video in English, please leave a comment in the part below. This is Chepe Carlo for LSW and we may we see you in the next video. Bye.